Hey, what's going on guys? It's Jackson here from Titanic Games. Today we're going to continue on with our survival game series and in this tutorial we're going to get started setting up our item swapping in our inventory. So the first thing that we're going to do here is come into our blueprints folder, go to components and open up this BP underscore inventory uh, actor component. So in here we're going to add two new functions. So the first one here we're going to call it set item in inventory. And essentially we're going to use this function to well do just what it says we're going to set uh, a well i guess let's call it something a little better we'll say set slot in inventory so what this means is we're going to set a specific index in our inventory array here to a specific item okay so for that we're going to add two parameters this first one we're going to call this item and this is going to be a bp uh, inventory item okay so we want that one and we want the reference then we'll add one more parameter and this will be called index so as you might be able to guess this will be whatever item that we want to you know set the new index uh, slot to so we'll go ahead and hit compile and save and now we're ready to uh, create the body of the function so what we're gonna do is uh, first we're gonna get our inventory here we're gonna drag out and we're gonna say last index. And the reason we wanna get this is so that we can compare this index to the last index because uh, this function will be used to pass it between multiple different um, inventory components potentially. So we wanna make sure that the index will never be outside of our array's bounds because that you know can cause problems. Because uh, if you try to drop it into an array, you know, or if you try to put it into a position in an array where it doesn't exist, uh, or yeah, where that index doesn't exist, then it's going to cause an error and the game will probably, you know, crash or something or generate a runtime error. So we'll go ahead and take our index. We'll check if it is less than or equal to the last index. So that will basically tell us if this is within, uh, you know, our array's uh, range. We'll take the boolean result here and do a branch with this guy up okay now the next part that we want to do is we'll take our inventory again and we're going to simply drag out and say set array element hook it up to true now what this function does is it allows you to assign a certain item in this array um, or yeah a new item in this array at whatever index you specify so we'll take this index plug it into there and then the item we want to use as the new you know item in that index uh, we'll just plug an item and that's really all we need to do um, yeah so we'll go ahead and just hit compile and save there and one thing we might want to do just in case we want to check if it was successful or not we can add an output that will just be a boolean and we'll call it success question mark so we'll bring this in here, hook it up. So we'll say it was successful off of you know this part of the branch. Then if it's false, we'll add a return and just say you know it wasn't successful. So we can use that information if we want later to kind of query if this you know if this set slot in inventory actually worked or not. So we have that function, and this is going to be kind of a helper function that we use inside of uh, kind of our core swap item function. So that's going to be the next one we set up. So we'll go ahead and hit plus function you know create a new one we'll call this swap items and for this we're going to add, have to add four parameters first parameter we're going to call this from inventory so this is going to be the inventory component that the item is currently coming from so when we go to do our drag and drop operations this will be uh, the you know the the panel if you will in our ui um, where the current item that we just picked up was in okay so in our um, I guess this will make more sense once we have more of the visuals put together but basically just know that this will be whatever wherever you're dragging from okay so we'll go ahead and change this to the type BP inventory okay so we just want our component here and we should probably make that a little more clear that that's what it is it's a component so let's go ahead and take this guy and we'll rename it to inventory component. That'll just make it a little more clear that this is our inventory component. Okay. 
So we come back in here and sure enough, you know, it's updated. You should be able to see that. Um, or not, never mind. Anyways, it, it has been updated, so uh, you shouldn't have to worry there. So we'll go ahead and add another one. And since it's already on that type, we'll just leave it like so, and we'll just call this two inventory. Then we'll add two more, but this one will be an integer and we'll call this from index. And we'll call this, we'll add one more that we'll call to index. So as you might be able to guess, to inventory is going to be the inventory that we're dropping the item into, okay? And then the from index is gonna be whatever index uh, the item that we picked up, you know, or that we're dragging um, was currently at. And then the to index is going to be the index of whatever item uh, that we're dropping onto. And the reason we need all this information is so that we can, you know, grab a specific item from our inventory and then um, basically just swap the two by, by creating like temporary variables, okay? Uh, so it's a, it's a pretty simple concept, I guess, but uh, sometimes it can be a little confusing trying to get it to stay, I guess, because visually it will, you know, sometimes update, but it doesn't always stay, um, you know, if you don't set it up correctly. So uh, anyways, talking a little bit too much there, I think, but uh, hopefully it's making sense. Um, if not, it should in a little bit. So next, what we're going to do is, well, we need to create one more function here. So we'll add a new one. We'll call this get item in slot. And what this is going to do is it will return a, you know, a BP inventory item based on whatever kind of index we plug in. So we'll add a parameter here, it should be of type integer, and we'll just call it index, or you could call it slot, I guess, if that'll make more sense. But basically this is the index that we're trying to grab from in our inventory. And then we need to add one output that we'll just call uh, item. And this needs to be an inventory item reference. Okay. So now all we're going to do for this function is take our inventory, drag out, and we're going to say get. And we're going to try to get one of the items from that array. Now we want to make sure that it's valid first. So we'll say, is this valid? Okay, if it's valid, then we can return. Uh, we'll return that item. If it's not valid, then we can return nothing. Okay. So I guess one thing with this function, uh, you might not technically need this uh, if, if you want to you know, query uh, the result of it somewhere else, like say, um, was this you know, successful somewhere else? Like, is it valid? Um, maybe you'd wanna check that in the other function. Uh, but for right now, I think this would work just fine. So uh, we'll go ahead and go back into swap items now. And now that we have all of these helper functions created, uh, you know, this set slot in inventory and get item in slot, we can really easily put this uh, function together. So what we'll do is take from our from inventory and we will call get item in slot. Oh, and this is one thing I forgot to do. Let's take this function here, come into peer or come into the details panel and we want to check peer and uh, const. So we'll hit uh, compile and save, come back and it should look like this now. So, uh, and basically what that does, if you're not familiar with what, you know, peer and const does, it basically just uh, removes the execution and just, you know, only returns a value. So we'll say get item in slot. And from here, we're gonna promote this to a local variable. We'll call this L underscore from item. So this is the item that, you know, we're uh, dragging from, or, you know, the item that we're dragging currently. Then we'll do the same thing here. We'll say get item in slot and use this index. Right click, promote that to a local variable, call it L underscore two item. And I guess maybe it would be more helpful to call these like dragged and dropped item, I guess, um, or something like that. But uh, it should make you know just as much sense either way. So. Next, what we'll do is take our from inventory and we're gonna drag out here. We're gonna say set item, oops, set slot in inventory. 
So we'll hook this up. And now for this item, what we're gonna do is use the to item, okay? So this is like the first part of our switch now. Uh, so, you know, we've assigned these two local variables at, you know, um, saving, yeah, quote unquote saving, I guess, uh, a reference to the previous, you know, item in that slot. And now we're just going to flip flop them basically. So now we're going to say, you know, in that from index, we want to assign the, the opposite item uh, to it. Then we'll take our two inventory, say set slot in inventory. And then for this one, we'll use our from item. Oops, my bad, plug that in. And we'll use our two index here. So yeah, it's literally just going to flip-flop these two. Uh, there's not much to it besides that. So let's go ahead and just uh, clean this up a little bit and then I'll do one final little walkthrough to explain you know, just fully what's going on. So we'll go ahead, double click, add some reroute nodes in here, make it look a little less, a little less crowded. All right, so we've added in some reroute nodes, making it look nice and pretty now. And it should be much more readable now. So it should still, you know, everything's still connected the same. It's just separated out. So as a final little walkthrough, what this is going to do is, you know, when we call swap items, right, we are going to provide uh, both the, the inventory that the item we're trying to drag uh, is coming from, as well as the index of its position, right? And then we're also going to, you know, pass through the inventory that we're trying to drop to and uh, the index of that item. So with that information, we can, you know, first retrieve what the item is that we're trying to drop, right, from the inventory. And then uh, it will do the same for the two, or yeah, for where we're trying to drop it onto. And we'll save both of those as a little, you know, a temporary local variable. And the reason that we need to do this is because if we don't save, you know, or yeah, quote unquote save, uh, a reference to these variables, or yeah, to these, well, to these references, then... Uh, what happens is when you call this first like set and slot, it will replace the the from one with the two. Okay, so if you hadn't saved the two, then um, you know th then when you go to try to you know pass through the from into the new you know two inventory, it would just pass through the same exact item. Okay, because it has now been copied basically. Um, so I guess along that, um, you technically don't need this one, okay? You could just delete it and then just plug it straight in. Uh, I just wanted to do that just to make it really extra clear what's going on here, because uh, I know sometimes swapping references can uh, be a little tricky, I guess. Um, but yeah, that's basically, that's our swap item function. So I think we'll go ahead and call it a day here. Uh, just because in the next video, we're going to dive into more of the UI side of things. And so uh, now that we have, you know, these, this function set up, uh, we don't have to do any more work in these blueprints and we can just simply call the functions and, you know, not have to worry about the implementation. So uh, yeah, that's all we're going to do in our inventory component. Close out of here. All right. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you like it, like or subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.